Soon after the appalling acts of violence at the US Capitol, Twitter announced that it was permanently suspending the account of the President of the United States, Donald Trump. Now, I'd like to read to you what Twitter said in their justification for this. Quote, After close review of recent tweets from the at real Donald Trump account and the context around them, specifically how they're being received and interpreted on and off Twitter, we have permanently suspended the account due to the risk of further incitement of violence. Our public interest framework exists to enable the public to hear from elected officials and world leaders directly. However, we made it clear going back years that these accounts are not above our rules entirely and cannot use Twitter to incite violence. So Twitter are basically saying that anyone that incites violence, doesn't matter who you are, doesn't matter if you're the leader of a country, you will be censored. Now, this is not a video about the pros and cons of censorship or the extent to which censorship should be limited, nor is this a video about how we can heal the terrible polarization and hatred in America. I actually tried to address some of those issues in another video that we're uploading to JTV this week. This video is simply about Twitter's double standards. So Twitter, you are pulling the President of the United States account for inciting violence. Okay, so would you mind explaining this one to me? This is the leader of Iran, Ayatollah Khomeini, who tweeted, quote, Our stance against Israel is the same stance we have always taken. Hashtag Israel. Well, even the Ayatollahs with it with the hashtags. Israel is a malignant, cancerous tumour in the West Asian region that has to be removed and eradicated. It is possible and it will happen. This tweet has not been taken down. It doesn't even have a warning sign on it. Oh, and don't bother asking about whether Khomeini's account is being suspended from Twitter because it's not. Let me just reread Twitter's statement about President Trump. Quote, Our public interest framework exists to enable the public to hear from elected officials and world leaders directly. However, we made it clear going back years that these accounts are not above our rules entirely and cannot use Twitter to incite violence. How is Israel is a cancer that must be removed not a direct and clear incitement, not just to violence, but genocide. You know, when Twitter was pushed on this at a hearing in Israel two years ago, do you know what Twitter said in response? They said, quote, this is commentary on political issues. Words fail me. And what about this tweet from China's US embassy Twitter account, stating that the atrocities taking place against China's Muslim Uyghur population was actually emancipating their women from extremism and stopping them from being, quote, baby-making machines. Now, Twitter eventually removed this tweet, but their account remains. I don't know where we go from here, but it seems to me that a group of people in big tech having an unprecedented amount of control over the information that is and isn't allowed to be disseminated should give us all serious pause for thought.